Easy, you know I rock with you, bro. I rock with Easy. A lot of y'all know that, man. But Easy, one thing that we can't be doing, bro. One thing that I can't, I can't accept you doing, bro. Is going on a press run, right? To challenge people's opinions, right? And to tell people that their opinion is incorrect, bro. This is why battle rap cannot, it's impossible that battle rap is a sport. It's impossible because battle rap is subjective, bro. It's based on how we feel and what we think as individuals. Also, Tay Rock and Easy, I don't know what you guys got going on. I don't know if this is some kind of promo for a battle that you guys might have planned or whatever the case is, man. But you guys are going awfully crazy on each other, bro. I'm hearing Tay Rock throwing the Frank stand around, bro. I'm hearing Tay Rock inviting Easy to the Frank stand. I'm hearing people calling each other names that I'm quite sure we wouldn't be calling each other in person. So let's talk about it. Can't believe what's going on right now, man, in the battle rap community, bro. For the past few days, ever since John John, John John, you are a very smart cookie, my man. You are a very, very smart cookie. You're like a chocolate chip cookie, because chocolate chip got the light skin and the freckles, the chocolate chips is the face. You, you, you are a very smart chocolate chip cookie, my man. I see what you was doing, bro, with this whole leaking of this audio on the same day of the battle. Before the easy to block captain battle, bro. Ever since this battle went down, I feel like there's been a lot of uproar. Because for one, we have easy to block captain, right? Who is dead set on the fact that he 30 John John. On the other end, we got John John the Don. Who is dead set on the fact that he 30 easy. Easy, my man, before we even get to you and what you're doing right now, going on a press run and getting mad at people's opinions, bro, John John, I see what you was doing, bro. And even though you might not admit it, I know that you are not going to admit it. I've seen you on the Three Letterman interview already, and he asked you about it, if this was strategy, if this was part of a plan or whatever the case is, drop that audio. Even though you might not admit that it absolutely was part of a strategy and a plan, I can see right through that, bro. And I see exactly what the intent or the intention was behind dropping and releasing that audio. The intention was a lot of people are going to see this. Primarily people in the battle rap community. A lot of the people that are going to be tuning into the Easy versus John John battle are going to be among the first to come across this audio because it's part of the battle rap community. It's something that's happening between Easy and John John. Oh, snap, they're battling later today. People are already paying attention to what's going on, waiting for the battle. So anything that pops up on YouTube regarding Easy and John John is probably going to do pretty good numbers because it's the day of the battle. So, John John, you already know this stuff. We already know this stuff. The intention behind you dropping that audio was to make people perceive easy in a different way right before the battle. Because the entire time, right, ever since that whole Remy situation and Papoose and P Paul Poos putting the paws on easy and blah, 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 it's been a rumor in the community. It's been something that people have rapped about for a long time. So these are the things that John John Adon is going to touch on specifically in the battle. So he releases this audio with the intention of the culture perceiving easy as a liar perceiving him as a liar because one of the main things that was said in this audio is something about easy having done something with remy ma easy also says something about two clean johns you got two clean johns on him or something like that right so those two specific things right there are addressing two of the things that easy's been supposedly lying about ever since the remy situation right Somebody like me believes that that whole Remy and Easy thing is a rumor, but a lot of the culture believe that it was true. As well as the whole Papu situation. 
Nobody ever saw any footage or video, so there was never any actual proof, like physical proof. But Easy has been denying, denying, denying those rumors. So the intention behind releasing the audio was to literally make Easy look like a blatant liar, bro. Now, the battle rap community, I feel like, is easily swayed sometimes. It's easily manipulated, right? So a lot of people are going to hear this audio. And then they're going to watch the battle. Then what John John is saying to easy to easy to block captain is going to line up with the audio, because, again, it's a strategic it's planned out. At the same time, the image that we had of easy, that potential, that 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 little bit of hope that some of us had that this wasn't true goes out the window. This is the intention behind releasing the audio. Now, what this does is it changes the perception of easy. Right before the battle, right before the battle, this audio changes the perception of easy. Now the culture, and I'm seeing this happening on social media. I'm seeing it happen on Twitter. I'm seeing it happen on YouTube. Everybody is now calling easy a liar, bro. Everybody's now on social media talking about, oh, easy admitted he got Paul punched. Oh, easy admitted that he cried. Oh, he's a liar. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm seeing this happen in real time. Now the people right, that are watching the battle because they listen to this audio and now believe or, or heard the fact that Easy's a liar are primarily most likely going to be picking John John as the winner. Why? Because again, if you get exposed for being some kind of liar, whatever the case is, bro, that takes away credibility from you. It takes away believability from you. It's almost like, oh, Easy got exposed for lying, so now we can't even listen to what he says. Easy got exposed for lying, so now we know what he's saying is all cap. Blase, blase, blah. So I see, I see what the intention was and what the purpose was. John, John, you are a very smart guy, bro. Almost too smart, bro. The fact that John John denied that that was the case on Three Letterman, bro, surprised me because John John, you could have easily admitted that, yes, that was absolutely the case. It was all part of the plan. Honestly, I would respect that because that's a very smart plan. I would respect it. But I see what the purpose was. Now, Easy, part of Easy's argument, right? Even though I don't think or necessarily 100% agree that Easy should be doing this, going on a press run or doing all this stuff to point out the fact that this was the case, right? Pretty much being kind of like a, uh, because a lot of people feel like Easy lost. So Easy doing what he's doing kind of makes him look like a sore loser. It makes Easy look like he thinks or he feels he actually lost that battle. So actually, before I even keep going, that's a it's 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 an it's a bad perception of you easy to be doing that because that tells us people like me that see through things that you feel like you lost. If you if you have to go up and debate and argue that you won the battle and tell people that you won the battle and even people like three letter men, he feels like John John, you're arguing to him, telling him that you it makes it look like you feel like you lost the battle. But besides that point. Easy's making a point as he's going around making his rounds and he's pointing out the fact that this was in fact the case, bro. A lot of the votes or a lot of the people that voted specifically on like Twitter polls and things like that are people that were swayed. A lot of people were swayed to vote in John John's favor because of this whole audio situation and blase, blase, blah. This is what this is what Easy believes. And you know what? I understand what you're saying, Easy to block captain. Trust me. I get it, bro. But this is battle rap. There's no rules here. There's no rules. There's no NDA that says that John John couldn't release an audio and blase, blase. So easy. Easy, easy, it easy. I'm saying this and you know I rock with you, bro. I do. I do, bro. That cheesecake factory line, bro, that you had, never, bro, you had some, you had some good material in that battle. But I just can't accept the fact that. You're trying to tell people how to think or the fact that you're trying to sway people to, to, to make them vote that you won, irregardless of why they feel you lost. One thing that we need to understand, and this is and this, and this brings me back to like when people like Sue Surf try to compare battle rap to like basketball, bro. It's impossible to compare battle rap to basketball for this exact reason, bro. Right now, we're witnessing the exact reason 
why battle rap is not a sport, bro. As much as y'all want to believe and people want to say and follow what Sue Surf says and, oh, it's basketball and, oh, LeBron James and, but no. In basketball, if you make the basket, you get two points. At the end of the game, there's a clear score. One person won, one person lost, or it's a draw. Irregardless of what the end results are, basketball is objective, meaning it is finite. It's definite. It's set in stone. There is no if, ands, or buts about it, bro. It's black and white. That's sports. Battle rap, not so much, bro. And this is why, bro, battle rap will always be an art because battle rap is subjective, bro. A three letterman can feel like John John the Don won, clearly, two one clear gentleman's 30. That's his prerogative to feel that way. He's entitled to his own opinion. He can judge a battle however he wants to judge a battle. We are each different individuals that perceive things differently, bro. So it's very disappointing, bro. When I'm seeing somebody I rock with, like Easy to Block Captain, I got respect for because of all the things he's done, bro. His courage, bro, to go against the machine and control his own career, bro. I have a lot of respect for Easy, bro. But I can't respect that, bro. I can't respect the fact that it seems as if though Easy is upset at the fact that people have him losing. When this is a very subjective art form, bro. This is a subjective art form, bro. Art is in the word smack. It's part of the, it's part of the, uh, the, 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 what do you call it? When you abbreviate or whatever, it's part of that, bro. Art, bro. So we can't possibly be out here telling three lettermen that he's wrong for having John John the Don winning a battle 2-1. Now I get it. It might not feel fair because you might feel slighted easy at the fact that there was audio that was released, which might have affected some of the votes, which I completely agree with you on. I completely agree. That's what this is. This is dirty business. This is a circus. I feel like we should know this by now, bro, that these types of games are gonna be played. But what happened, happened. What happened, happened, easy. Now this whole Tay Rock and Easy situation is becoming a very interesting situation. First of all, I don't know if some of y'all are seeing what's going on with Tay Rock and Smack. I don't know what's going on or what's gotten into Smack, bro, but Smack is putting a battery in Tay Rock's back right now. And I feel as if, though, because Smack is putting a battery in Tay Rock's back is why Tay Rock is coming at this whole Easy and Tay Rock or Easy versus Tay Rock situation the way he's coming at it, bro. Super disrespectful, super rude, Calling each other, calling him, calling easy a, a, the P word, P-U-S-S-Y, saying suck my, calling him up. All these things right now, bro, going way beyond what things should be, bro. All because Smack is putting a battery in Tay Rock's back. What's actually going on here, bro, and I think it's so funny what's going on with this whole Tay Rock, Smack, and Easy situation and blase, blase, blah, bro. I feel as if though, I feel as if though Smack understands how Tay Rock is perceived in the culture. He's perceived as, okay, he's battled everybody. He doesn't have control of his own career. He's a puppet to the URL. He can only do what the URL allows. Blase, blase, blah. Smack, smack be acting like he don't be in tune sometimes with what's going on with blogs and stuff like that. But I know that he is, bro. I know that he is. And if it's not him specifically, there's people that tell him what's going on. And because of this, I feel as if though smack is making it a point. For the past like week, I've been hearing Smack speak like this a lot. He's been making it a point to say in these little short interviews that are popping up with Smack and Tay Rock that Smack is his own, that Tay Rock is his own man. That Tay Rock can do whatever he wants. That Tay Rock can battle whoever he wants. Smack is making it a point to say these things. Now, these things have never been said before. I don't recall Smack ever talking like that, bro, about Tay Rock. Ever. But recently, along with this easy to block captain situation, which I feel like is also a bait and hook situation for easy. Lately, Smack has been making it seem as if though Tay Rock has this freedom 
from URM. And I feel as if though that is causing, partly causing Tay Rock to go about this whole easy to block captain situation the way that he is. Pretty much smack let Tay Rock off the leash. And now Tay Rock is the dog trying to attack easy because smack pretty much let him off the leash. The way that I'm looking at the situation, bruh, is if this battle's not gonna happen, why even do this, bruh? Why even do this? The reason I say this is because, bro, I try and be respectful over camera, on camera, on my videos and stuff like that because I understand consequences, bro. I've been there, done that. I get consequences, bro. I understand that if you say something stupid to somebody, somebody might slap the shit out of you. I understand these things, right? So I try and address things as respectfully as I can or as, as respectfully as I know how to. Bruh, if you guys were to see each other in person, I'm almost positive that this attitude, this energy, and these things that are being exchanged between you two will not be the case. So if we're doing everything, if we're doing all that for the cameras, stop it. Let's stop it, bro. Because again, I'm almost positive that if you guys see each other in person, nothing's going to happen. Y'all going to dap each other up, keep it buddy-buddy and all this stuff, man. So the fact that y'all sitting there calling each other names, the type of names y'all calling each other, Tay Rock, you inviting people to your Frank stand and blase blase bro, bro, that's not a smart idea, man. If this is promo for a battle, then okay. But it seems as if though you guys are not going to battle, which is why this is an issue. So we're not battling. We never had any actual beef before in the past. Tay Rock gets let off the leash. And now all of a sudden we got Tay Rock calling Easy a pussy and a bitch and all oh, suck my and blase blase blah bro. Talking about we can meet up in Philly tonight, bro. For what? Meet up in Philly for what, bro? You guys are damn near celebrities, bro. You think that y'all gonna be able to meet up in Philly and have and and and, and if something happens and goes down, y'all just gonna be able to go your separate ways and nothing come from that. But no, you guys are damn near celebrities, bro. You guys need to stop acting so ignorant, bro, unless you're actually going to go there, bro. Unless you actually got a real problem, which y'all don't, which is why I see an issue with this, because y'all don't have a real problem. This is all stemming from the URL and the fact that Tay Rock is a URL person and EZ's not. That's what this is stemming from, bro. So it's not even a real beef. It's not even a real issue. To me, that's absolutely ridiculous, bro. Because like I said, like twice, bro, if y'all were to see each other in person, I highly doubt that that same energy is going to be kept. On top of that, there is no real beef or issues between you guys, bro. There's just an issue with the fact that Easy left URL, he's no longer there, and he trashes them sometimes, and Tay Rock, you are URL forever for life. That's where the issue comes from, bro. So if y'all not going to battle, cut the shit. What's the point? Get a bag for it. Call Chrome, call Remy, Tay Rock. Easy, call URL, whatever the hell y'all gotta do. Get this done. But it doesn't seem like they're gonna battle either, right? Because Tay Rock is over here talking about, oh yeah, we only doing things my way or the highway. Easy's not getting nothing that benefits him over here, bro. The only way he's gonna get a Tay Rock battle is if he puts on the, the, the slave chains and he takes pennies for pay and he doesn't get nothing. That's the only way we're gonna battle him. That's the only way, bro. So it doesn't even seem like this battle is going to happen. So Tate Rock and Easy, what are y'all doing, bro? What are y'all doing? It just looks fake. It just looks phony. It just looks like y'all making up some fake beef to, to just create controversy. It just looks so fake, bro. And this is part of the problem that I have with battle rap in general is the fact that, bro, we don't even know what's real or fake anymore, bro. Most of this is a circus act. Most of this is theater performance, bro. So we sit here creating beefs, creating fake dramas, creating all that, creating this. Bro, just battle and get it out the way. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all. As of right now, as of right now, that whole A side and B side conversation, I got easy as the A side. I got easy as the A side, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm not saying easy's a legend over Tay Rock. I'm not saying he's over Tay Rock and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm talking about right now, today, 
December, what is it today? December 18th? What is it? The 17th? Whatever day it is today, 2023, Easy's the A-side over Tay Rock, bro. That's it. Tay Rock hasn't done enough this year to be the A-side. He's done enough throughout his entire career to be the A-side. But I don't think Tay Rock has done enough this year to be the A-side over Easy to block Captain. I'm not going to hold y'all. Easy has completely dominated this year, bro. Whether it's been through blogs, whether it's been through, through turning his back against the machine, whether it's been how many battles he's had with how many bigger people, whether bro, in every way, shape, or form, statistics wise, Easy is the A side over Tay Rock this year, bro. Period. So Tay Rock, Easy, are y'all gonna make this battle happen, bro? Are y'all gonna keep sitting there throwing the Frank stand at each other, bro? Just talking ish. And not get into the business, bro. Not get into the bag, bro. If y'all not going to get to the bag and get to the battle, bro, leave each other alone, man. Leave each other alone, bro. The biggest. Let me know what y'all think, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and direct from the battle. <laughs>